We continue to get some reaction to this development. And uh, let's now speak to Neo Mkhopa, the Communications and Advocacy Manager at the Nelson Mandela Foundation via Zoom. A very good morning to you, Neo. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the agenda. Morning, Simpi, and good morning to your viewers as well. We've seen the Nelson Mandela Foundation issuing a very, very scathing statement. And uh, I, I'm just going to read the statement in part. It says that for nearly two decades now, Mr. Zuma has acted with impunity and has encouraged cultures of impunity around him. It continues to say that. So lying in the face of the nation is the point. Mr. Zuma and his spinners don't expect anyone to believe them. This is a very, very scathing statement uh, against the former president, Jacob Zuma. So what's your general reaction of the Nelson Mandela Foundation to his incarceration? Mm. Well, absolutely. I think that um, this is quite a sensitive topic and we must be careful not to mince our words and must speak very clearly. And I think that particular quote actually came from Sison Kinsemang that we've included as well in our statement. And it's true. There is a sense of kind of muddying the waters constantly for years and years and decades of us uh, following reappeals and reappeals and reappeals. And in this way, um, Mr. Zuma appears to be trying to escape all um, consequences for any of his actions uh, and is acting with impunity. Yeah, and we've seen the foundation CEO, Silo Hatang, saying that uh, this was a turning point for South Africa. So what's your confidence then in the mm. South Africa's judicial system? No, absolutely. I think that there was a sense of this is a line being drawn in the sand, you know what I mean? Um, and, and, and it is a turning point, I think. This is one of the very first times we've seen such clear um, and unambiguous um, action um, from the state as well as the constitutional court. But we must also be clear that this is not the end of the road. This particular matter relates specifically uh, to Mr. Zuma's non-appearance at the, the, the so-called Zondo Commission. Um, and this journey is going to be long. Um, and this is just the first step in a very, very long journey journey for us, um, watching um, other actors as well, um, and, and you can name them as well, and how Mr. Zuma has, over the years, really given license um, to cultures of lawlessness, not only um, in local and municipal government, but also in our chapter nine institutions who are really struggling to fulfill their mandates to uphold the constitution and the rule of law. Well, the Nelson Mandela Foundation patron, which is Nelson Mandela himself, is always advocated for basic human rights. So Zuma has always cried foul that his rights have been violated. And in particular, in this case, he says that uh, he, his, his rights were violated again because he was never given a trial before incarcerated. So do you think that he's been treated fairly? Absolutely. I think more than fairly as well. I think that if it was an ordinary member of public, there wouldn't be this opportunity for him to hand himself over. That's not something that we generally see. He was given that opportunity to save his dignity, to save his reputation as well. And so as far as fairness goes, I think that the courts and the judicial system has been very, very lenient, in fact. Um, and, and, and you'll note that even in him, him handing himself over, he missed that deadline. The deadline from, from to hand himself over was on Sunday, and he missed that. So in actuality, He's in another contempt of court. Um, and, and the Wednesday deadline that we saw yesterday was not his deadline, but it was uh, Minister Pelikele's deadline to arrest Zuma should he fail to hand himself over to, to law enforcement. And so really, this notion of, of um, Mr. Zuma playing the victim while also using his victimhood almost as a weapon um, against our senses of justice and another, you know what I mean, another, you know, what's the word, violation against the body politic. It's very concerning. All right, Neo, thank you so much uh, for your uh, reaction to this story. That was the uh, thank spokesperson, you. the communications and advocacy manager of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, Neo Mohopa, joining us via Zoom.